Have you ever wondered how to travel the world without breaking the bank? Well, you're in the right place. We will share with you the 10 most essential budget travel tips and stay tuned to the end where we will give you two bonus tips. Stay tuned as we dive into 10 essential tips for traveling cheaply. The first step to affordable travel is planning ahead. Now why is this so crucial? Well, the answer lies in how travel industries operate. Airlines, hotels, and tour operators often offer lower prices to those who book in advance. It's their way of ensuring a steady flow of business. So by planning ahead, you're not only securing your travel arrangements, but you're also getting them at a much lower cost. This can include flights, accommodation, and even tours. So consider setting up alerts for flight prices, checking out hotel prices well before your travel date, and looking into tour packages that offer early bird discounts. The world of travel might seem vast and unpredictable, but with a little bit of foresight, you can navigate it in a way that's both exciting and budget-friendly. Remember, the early bird catches the best travel deals. Our second tip is to travel off-peak. Now what does that mean exactly? Well, it's all about timing. Off-peak travel refers to the periods outside of the high-demand times for vacation or tourism. These are typically during school holidays, major holidays, and the summer season when everyone seems to be on the move. Why is off-peak travel a key to affordable trips? Simple. Lower demand means lower prices. Airlines, hotels, and even local attractions often slash their prices during these times to attract travelers. It's a win-win situation. They fill their vacancies and you get a sweet deal. Not only can you save some serious cash, but off-peak travel also offers other perks. Imagine exploring the cobblestone streets of Rome or the sandy beaches of Bali without the usual crowds. It's all about savoring the sights at your own pace, with more personal space and a heightened sense of immersion in the local culture. But remember, off-peak times can vary depending on the destination. It's always a good idea to do a bit of research to figure out the best times to visit your chosen location. So. Avoid the crowds and save money by traveling in the off-peak season. Tip number three is to take advantage of low-cost airlines. These airlines, often seen as the underdogs of the aviation world, offer an appealing alternative to traditional air travel. They're renowned for their budget-friendly fares, enabling more people to explore the world without breaking the bank. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Low-cost airlines often compensate for their lower ticket prices by charging for extras, like luggage or in-flight meals. Also, they typically operate at less convenient times or from secondary airports. It's essential to factor in these potential inconveniences when calculating your overall travel costs. But if you're flexible and ready to pack light, these airlines can be your ticket to affordable globetrotting. With low-cost airlines, you can reach your dream destinations without draining your wallet. Fourth on our list is avoiding unnecessary baggage fees. Now, who doesn't love a good shopping spree, especially when traveling? but every kilogram counts when it comes to airline luggage limits. So how do we keep our luggage light and avoid those extra charges for checked baggage? First, think versatility. Pack items that can be worn in different combinations or in different weather conditions. A pair of jeans, for example, can be dressed up or down, and a scarf can double as a blanket on a chilly flight. Next, consider wearing your heaviest items during the flight. That chunky sweater or those hiking boots might take up a lot of space in your suitcase, but not if they're on your body. Finally, make use of compression bags. They can significantly reduce the volume of your clothes, leaving more room for other essentials. And remember, if you're still over the limit, consider shipping items home. It might be cheaper than paying the airline's excess baggage fees. Remember, every penny saved on baggage fees is a penny you can spend on your adventures. Tip number five is volunteering in exchange for free accommodation. Now you might be wondering, how does that work? Well, it's quite simple. There are platforms out there, like World Packers, that connect travelers with hosts around the globe. These hosts offer accommodation in return for a few hours of volunteer work each day. This could range from helping out on a farm, teaching a language, or even assisting in a hostel. It's a win-win situation. You get a place to stay without spending a dime and in return you offer your time and skills. Plus, it's a fantastic way to immerse yourself in a new culture and meet locals. It's like being a part of a global community, all while saving money. Volunteering can not only save you money but also enrich your travel experience. Our sixth tip is to plan your intercity trips in advance. Now you might be wondering why is this so important? Well, it's simple. When you plan ahead, you have a better chance of finding economical options. Many cities have efficient public transportation systems, 
and understanding these can save you a significant amount of money over relying on taxis or ride-sharing apps. On top of that, planning ahead also lets you maximize your time. You can schedule visits to various attractions in a way that reduces back-and-forth travel, making your trip not only cheaper, but more enjoyable as well. For instance, if you're visiting a city with multiple must-see spots, try to group nearby attractions together in your itinerary. This way, you can limit your travel to a specific area each day, reducing transportation costs and saving precious time. Moreover, some cities offer day or week passes for public transportation. If you're planning to move around a lot within the city, these passes can be a real money saver. Efficient intercity travel planning can make your trip smoother and cheaper. So take the time to do a little research and plan your intercity travel. It's a step that could make a world of difference to your travel experience and budget. Tip number seven is to utilize public transportation. Public transportation offers a cost-effective way to navigate new places, cutting down on the hefty costs of taxi rides or car rentals. But it's not just about the savings. When you hop on a bus, tram, or subway, you're immersing yourself in the everyday rhythm of the locale, seeing the city from a resident's perspective. You can observe the hustle and bustle, the quiet conversations, the nods of acknowledgement between regular passengers. You become part of the tapestry of local life, even if just for a short while. Plus, it's a greener way to travel, reducing your carbon footprint and contributing to sustainability. It's a win-win situation. You save money and gain experiences that are priceless. Remember, the journey is just as important as the destination. Public transportation is not only cheaper but also a great way to experience local life. Before entering into the last three hacks, if you got some value of this video, please subscribe. It helps us make more videos for you. Our eighth tip is to buy tickets in advance. Imagine strolling past a winding queue of eager tourists, ticket in hand, ready to explore that world-renowned museum or historic monument. Not only do you bypass the wait, but you also pocket some savings. Buying tickets for attractions, tours, and transportation in advance often means avoiding higher prices on the day. It's all about planning ahead, and the internet makes it easier than ever. From the comfort of your home, you can secure tickets for that must-see Broadway show or that scenic train ride through the Alps. These tickets often come with a specific time slot, helping you structure your day and avoid disappointment. Furthermore, popular attractions can sell out quickly during peak times, so booking in advance ensures you won't miss out. Advanced tickets can save you money and secure your spot at popular attractions. Ninth on our list is to take advantage of any student discounts. Now, this is a perk that's often overlooked, but it's a golden ticket to savings for students. From flights and accommodations to attractions and experiences, many places offer discounts for students. And we're not just talking about a dollar or two. Some of these discounts can be pretty substantial, making your travel experience a lot lighter on the pocket. For instance, many airlines offer student fares that are significantly cheaper than regular fares. In addition, numerous hostels and hotels have special rates for students. And let's not forget about museums, galleries, and landmarks around the world that provide reduced entrance fees for students. However, to avail these discounts, you'll need to show proof of your student status. So, don't forget to pack your student ID along with your passport. It's your passport to savings, after all. Some places may also accept an international student identity card which is recognized in many countries worldwide. So students, don't shy away from flashing that ID. It could unlock a world of savings and let you see the world without breaking the bank. Remember to carry your student ID to unlock potential savings. Tip number 10 is the one, two rule for meals. Now this is a clever way to save money and still savor the local flavors. So, what's the one, two rule? It's pretty simple. During your travel day, you have one meal in a restaurant and two meals from grocery stores or markets. This way, you get to experience the local dining scene without breaking the bank. For instance, you could start your day with a breakfast from the local market, enjoy a midday meal at a restaurant, and then prepare a simple dinner from fresh produce and local ingredients you've picked up throughout the day. This not only cuts down your food expenses significantly, but also allows you to explore local produce and perhaps even try your hand at cooking a local dish. Plus, it's a great way to interact with locals at the market and learn about their food culture. So next time you're planning your travel meals, remember the one, two rule. The one, two rule can help you save money while still enjoying local cuisine. And now on to the two bonus tips. Our bonus tip one is to take advantage of tax-free shopping. 
Now, who doesn't love a good shopping spree, especially when on vacation? But those receipts can pile up quickly, leaving you with a bit of a budget shock. Fear not, there's a silver lining. Tax-free shopping. This is a wonderful opportunity for international travelers to save some cash. In many countries, you can get a refund on the value-added tax, or VAT, that's included in the price of goods. Picture this. You're in Paris, you found the perfect souvenir, it's a bit pricey, but then you remember, tax-free shopping. You ask for a tax-free form at the point of purchase, fill it out, and then have it stamped at customs when you leave. Later, you claim your refund, and voila, you've saved money on your perfect Parisian keepsake. Remember, tax-free shopping can make your travel shopping spree more affordable. Our bonus tip too is to learn from those who've done it before. Experienced travelers are a treasure trove of insights and practical advice. They've been there, done that, and have learned what works and what doesn't. Whether it's finding the best local eats, navigating public transportation, or discovering hidden gems off the beaten path, their knowledge is invaluable. They can also shed light on cultural nuances, helping you respect local customs and avoid faux pas. Engage with travel blogs, videos, and social media platforms where seasoned globetrotters share their stories. Don't shy away from striking up a conversation with a fellow traveler during your journey. This exchange of ideas and experiences can lead to new friendships and enrich your travel experience. Remember, every seasoned traveler was once a beginner. So don't be afraid to ask questions and seek advice. Learning from others' experiences can help you avoid common pitfalls and save money. So, those were our 12 essential tips for cheap travel. We've journeyed together through the importance of planning ahead, the benefits of off-peak travel, and the savings that low-cost airlines can offer. IU look for more tips on traveling, check out the video on the screen.